Welcome to the Value Side of Finance, a guide to the changing geography of investing, our look into the little known corners of money and the economy. Now, on Value Side today, will Costco be the harbinger of retailers' supply disruption? Census reports on the almost new factory orders from August. All that and the rest of earnings preview coming right up. This is Value Side for October 4th. I'm David Ravel. Now, today's preview should not be considered a recommendation of any of the securities discussed. Well, the moment you walk into a Costco giant warehouse store, you get the sense that you're in a very different kind of place. It's not just the warehouse style with inventory above the retail shelves or the staff, which seems extremely hardworking and yet friendly. And it's not just the pricing, which is hard to beat. It's all of these things and a lot more behind the scenes. Costco operates on an entirely different business model from any of its competitors. While other retailers emphasize the front end of the business, sales and marketing, Costco places their attention on the back end, inventory and shipping. So while a Walmart or a Target will spend millions on marketing and advertising, Costco spends relatively little. And while the other brands seek to present a sleek, upscale space for their customers to shop, Costco is just a warehouse. But it is how they handle inventory that most sets Costco apart. For the others, they stock their inventory in traditional warehouses, making sure to have enough inventory on hand to meet any potential interruption. That's a very expensive proposition. Financing that much inventory can significantly cut into profits. So Costco just doesn't do it that way. Using state-of-the-art technology, Costco gives the responsibility for managing their inventory over to their vendors. They allow the vendors to see exactly what's on Costco's shelves and then hold them responsible to make sure those shelves are always properly stocked. And what's more, they pay for the inventory on a 30-day basis, meaning that Costco pays for the items a month after they're stocked on the shelves. That's right, the item you purchase from Costco today may not yet be paid for. Voila, free cash flow. It is a system that has worked well for 35 years and has made Costco one of the most successful retail companies in the nation. But before we get carried away with this approach, there may be some storm clouds on the horizon and they're headed straight for Costco. International trade tariffs threaten to interrupt this just-in-time inventory method. The newly instituted ad valorem tax, placed especially on goods coming out of China, is likely to disrupt the Costco supply chain, making Chinese suppliers either more expensive or perhaps even unavailable. It's an eventuality that Costco management has already anticipated. In last year's annual report, beginning on page 14, management describes the issue this way, quote, We buy from numerous domestic and foreign manufacturers and importers. Our inability to acquire suitable merchandise on acceptable terms or the loss of key vendors could negatively affect us. We may not be able to develop relationships with new vendors and products from alternate sources, if any, may be of lesser quality or more expensive than from those existing vendors. Unquote. That's a pretty accurate and concise description of the challenges presented by the tariffs. And if any company will feel this new threat, it's likely to be Costco with their revolutionary but vulnerable inventory method. Today, I'll be watching to see if they move this issue from the back of the report to front page headline. I have a feeling that tariffs are going to be a very big news item at Costco for quite some time. Now, Costco will hold their earnings conference call from their company headquarters in Issaquah, Washington, today at 5 p.m. Eastern. Also reporting today will be Constellation Brands, a major producer and importer of beers, wines, and spirits. 
The company has recently gained a lot of attention on Wall Street with their initial steps into producing some marijuana-based products and beverages. Constellation Brands will hold their conference call this morning at 10.30. And finally, International Speedway, the motor car racing company, will report earnings this morning at 9 o'clock. Now on the economic front, we will see the continuing and initial claims for unemployment, the Challenger job cuts, and from the Census Bureau, the almost new factory orders from August. And those are the companies that we're previewing today. We'll be back tomorrow to review their performance and look forward to a new group of companies as earnings season continues. This has been a copyrighted edition of ValueSide, published before the opening of the New York Stock Exchange for Thursday, October 4th. Don't forget, you can hear ValueSide on Google Music, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, and the Apple iTunes Store. For all of us at ValueSide, I'm David Ravel, hoping you have a great day. 